Mass and John met with Gumi C. Washi, who suddenly said about him that sparked reactions. On the 4th of April 2021, the former president of Nigeria, Chief Ulisha Gompasanjo, who stayed the popular Islamic scholar and peace activist Sheikh Ahmad Gumi over the issues of insecurity were banditry in Nigeria. A lot of reactions has blown over the internet. Over the meeting, this has given a chance for the likes of Sheikh Hussani to comment over the visit. Sheikh Hussani said on his official Twitter account, commending and appreciating the concern of the former president on the security issues disrupting the North. Sani said Obasanjo's concern and modest interventions in the security challenges in the North is much appreciated. He said the former president had the option of being indifferent, but he has chosen to be concerned with the North. He advised northern, northern leaders across political, ethnic and religious divide to take urgent steps in order to save the region. In his words, he says, former President Obasanjo's concern and modest interventions into the, the security challenges in the north is much appreciated. He has the option of being indifferent. Northern leaders across political, ethnic and religious divide must urgently step forward to save the region. And of course, there are photos of him, Basanjo and Sheikh Gumi um, from the meeting. A few weeks ago, if you, recall, if you can recall as well, Sheikh Sani, actually Sheikh Hussani met with Sheikh Gumi at the Arawa house in Kaduna over the necessary actions to be taken over the kidnapped students. Remember the 39 forestry students and regime pastors that are still in the hands of bandits? Something has to be done. And as a president is out of the country, he left orders for the service chiefs to do to do their necessary jobs. And of course, a lot of people on, rea- on Twitter reacted. And the first person says, Hi, Senator Shehu Musawal, you humble yourself to appreciate the good efforts of others. I'm saying thank you for your greatest objectivity so far on the Niger- on Nigerians' deplorable affairs. I may not agree with your views on all issues, but I find you are standing where others are collapsing. All right. <laughs> Until the root cause of insecurity is addressed, there can not be an end to insecurity. Extrajudicial killings of Yusuf gave birth to Boko Haram by his party, and bandits' escalation is continuous of unlawful detention of El Zazaki. This is not um, an individual talk. Personally, I have no idea what he's talking about because it says the extrajudicial killings of Yusuf gave birth to Boko Haram. So now I'm just going to search who Yusuf is because it's a bit... Because then this obviously gives context to what is going on. Um. So yeah, because it's very random and I don't think this relates, but let's just see. If you know what it means by that, put that in, you know... Um, the comment section below. Um, but yeah, it says Nigerian's Boko Haram chief killed, and that apparently is Yusuf. I'm not sure about that. Um, separation is the best option. Gandola can't destroy people's businesses in the north or in the name of Sharia. Then you allocate you then you allocation your allocation came from drinks and bars, and the tax you receive with joy. Um, he has the option of being indifferent, but instead chose to act his elder statemanship being a nationalist. What has Mr. Integrity done to protect and secure that region? Mala Nasir has turned, has turned this man into a human rights ambassador. I swear politics is a scam. Another reaction says, sir, with all due respect, the outcome of the meeting does not look like a solution to the current problem. Rather, it looks like he wants to help Gumi actualize his dream of securing amnesty for bandits. I think the most confusing thing is why Sheikh Gumi is very much for amnesty and band. I don't understand why he's so passionate about it. It's getting so much, or too much in my opinion, that it's it's now worrying. Because there's absolutely no reason why, you know, he'd... What? what why? Why is he so, like, he's so consistent, he's so, like, why? These people are committing a crime and they should be punished by the law, but then it's it's a thing of you're trying to go around and look for support because I, I don't understand, I really don't understand because then the nece- are you going to tell me that the necessary steps to tackle insecurity in Nigeria, as he's discussed with Obasanjo, would 
actually be by applying the law and sending them to jail it, it, it it's I, I doubt it i really do doubt it but it's a it's a bit yeah it's very strange it's very strange the other reaction here says um the north is finished <laughs> and then of course the person got a lot of replies and people are saying we are not finished we're okay and god will pass us through all right uh someone here says rough and bad suggestions um i will start my own band is here to receive amnesty collecting money without work okay um another person here says oh it is regrettable that the students of the institute of forestry who are kidnapped since a few weeks ago are still in the hands of the bandits it is a shame to our country and the government i don't understand why schools are still open and even if schools are even if the government is not going to intervene why are people still going to school especially when you know your your life is at risk or your security is at risk already like you should only go out if you want to go to the hospital or if you're if you need food that's like the only justifiable reason and it's just like why you you know what is going on and you're going to school of course you understand that yes certain things happen but you know we shouldn't be having cases like this anymore especially when it's our con when it's in the control or the control that the people or parents have is just not to send their kids to school um someone says um oh shut up were you the one that went for negotiations with shakao during jonathan oh uh, fam it's a bit it's a bit someone says maybe have the good outcomes from the meeting what outcomes i mean again i i don't know i don't know uh, someone says when he was in power all he could do for nigeria's assets for nigeria's assets to be sold by his vp for giveaway price for him to order the killing of the Odili people and to withhold local government allocation of Lagos State. Anytime he sees anybody against Buhari, he would joyfully join hands with him old for nothing. Someone says, I respect Olushev Gambasanjo a lot, but I have to say he's one of those that made it possible for Buhari to come into power um, and put Nigeria in these mess if he had not turned his back on um, good luck Billy Jonathan. All right. Uh, somebody says, birds of the same feathers flock together. Obasanjo is a snowflake. God will destroy them all together. He is, he, he that is troubling the peace of Nigeria shall not escape the judgment of God and the Almighty. Uh, Nigerians are disappointed by Obasanjo. Shame on him by conniving with the Fulani killers, kidnappers. Okay. I, I don't understand what the essence of this meeting was, to be very honest. Um yeah it just is what it is put what you think about it in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe